To balance this equation, Ca3PO4 2 plus H2SO4, this is calcium phosphate plus sulfuric acid. Let's count the atoms up and we'll use a little bit of a trick to make that easier since we have these polyatomic ions here that are on both sides. We have three calcium atoms. Here's this whole phosphate, PO4. We have two of those. So I'm going to count that as one thing. That'll make this a lot easier. Two hydrogens. And then I have a sulfate here and here. I'm just going to say I have one sulfate. Product side, one calcium. Phosphates, I have two times this phosphate here. So I have two of those. Two times two for the hydrogen, four. And then sulfate, I just have the one. I also noticed that there's a calcium here I didn't count. We've got to be careful with that. Make sure you count all of them. So since we have these calciums, two calciums in separate compounds, this is a little bit of a more difficult equation. Let's leave these for a moment and fix the hydrogens and just see what that does. So I could put a two in front of the sulfuric acid. Two times two, that'll give me four. That'll balance the hydrogen atoms. And then the sulfate, I have one times two. So I have two of those. I could put a two in front of the calcium sulfate. Then I would have one sulfate times two, and that would be balanced. I do need to update the calciums though, because now I have one calcium here plus the one times two there, and that gives me three, which actually works out really well. So now we're done, and this equation is balanced. I'd say the trick here is because we have a calcium here and a calcium here, I would balance those last. I think that makes it easier with these types of equations. And also, we used these polyatomic ions. We counted them as just one thing because they're on both sides. That made this a lot easier than counting up all those individual oxygens and phosphoruses. Either way, you get the same answer. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for Ca3PO42 plus H2SO4. Thanks for watching.